Hello chaps, it's Chris Farrell here. So I've got a quick-ish video for you here. There's something I want to share with you in this video that's very important that you understand if you are staked in the EMP ETH farm at emp.money. Long story short, my headline is, and you might well know this, if you're staked in the EMP ETH LP farm, you will need to move the LP that you have in that farm into a new EMP ETH LP farm. It's really simple. It's just a couple of clicks and we're going to go and do it all in this video. Firstly though, let's just go through why do you need to do this in the first place? If you're asking yourself that's a very good question. So let me kind of give you again the kind of the the kind of the macro, the 37,000 foot view as to why this is the case. So quick history lesson for you. EMP.money started as you might well know in January 2022. I remember it starting, feels like yesterday. Now part of the master strategy was that the farms would admit eShare for a year, for 12 months. That was that was the plan. And as you know, we can sell eShare safely for profit. In fact, that is the token that we're encouraged to sell that does not damage the protocol. However, it was decided after a few months of EMP functioning on the market that they would extend the emissions of eShare beyond this original 12-month period. But here's the thing with the blockchain, and you probably know this, you can't just go in and think, oh, I've, I've changed my mind, I'm going to, you know, edit the blockchain. The whole part of the blockchain is it is what's known as immutable. You can't just make an edit. So therefore, you can't just suddenly say, we're going to make a change just like that. So what we have to do in this case, if we want to continue eShare being emitted, is essentially what's happened is we're, it's called a migration. We're migrating to a version 2 of eShare. So, so that the EMP ETH farm can emit the new eShare, what you will have to do is you have to remove your LP from the original EMP ETH farm and put that LP into the new farm. It's very easy. It's a couple of clicks. We're going to go and do it in a second. As soon as you do this, your eShare rewards will continue as normal. So let's go and do this. Here we are. Now, this is actually, uh, this is not my main wallet. This is a wallet where I, I test stuff on. So I don't have that much LP, but I do have some. And for the sake of this video, that's absolutely fine. Now, another important thing to mention, I've seen some comments from people panicking, saying they're going to the farm and there's zero balance in their farm. Well, let's go through that. There isn't zero balance, but here we are at the farm. And here is the main uh, EMP ETH farm. And you are correct. Look, suddenly zero state. What's happened? Where's my state gone? Well, you need to scroll further down. Maybe you haven't done this. I know a lot of people don't because you don't really need to most of the time. But if you scroll further down, you'll see in inactive pools, look, there's another EMP ETH. And this is the original farm that until a few days ago was active. So if we scroll back up here, look, here is EMP ETH that's active. And if we scroll down under inactive, also EMP ETH. You know where I'm going with this, don't you? And it's this farm in the inactive pools that look, this is where your state tokens will be. So you haven't lost anything. Nothing's going wrong. What's happened is the original EMP ETH farm is now inactive. So as I've said, we now need to therefore remove what we've got state, remove our LP and put it in the active farm. Makes sense, right? Let's go and do it. So here we are in the inactive farm. And uh, as I say, this is just essentially a test wallet for me, but that doesn't concern you. But I do have a little bit state. I've only got three LP, 3.5 LP. It's worth about $90 at the time I'm making this video. So I'm going to withdraw this. And so the process will be, of course, I'll withdraw my LP. It will go to my MetaMask, and then I'll deposit it back in the new farm. And I can then earn new e-share and everything's groovy in the world. Yes, I did just use the word groovy. So let's go and do this. So to withdraw, we simply click on the minus symbol. Let's do that. A little dialog box opens. It's saying withdraw EMP. How much? Well, I've got 3.5. I'm going to click max. 3.5 will populate there. I'm going to confirm. Mr. Metamask will open asking me to confirm. Uh, I will click confirm. And then we'll see the little notification in a, in a few seconds time. Sometimes it takes a couple of seconds to chuggle through. There we go. Withdrawing 3.5 EMP ETH uh, from my farm. So this will disappear in a second. Let's just give it a few moments for 
the blockchain to work its magic behind the scenes. Any moments now, there we go, boom, it's disappeared. So now it's not anywhere because it's in our MetaMask. So in fact, let me, let me quickly go to MetaMask to show you. So if I go to MetaMask, and if I click on my assets, make sure we're in the correct chain. If I scroll down, I will see somewhere, there it is, 3.5. So uh, I had zero LP in my MetaMask. I probably should have showed you that beforehand, but I did have zero, and now we've got the 3.5, as you can see. So now all we do is we've removed it from what is now the inactive farm. Great, now let's stake it in the active farm. So back here in the farm page, here is the liquidity pools. Here is the EMP ETH farm, so we want to add to this farm. Now, because this is a new farm, the first time you do anything new, you might remember this the first time you did this, but we only do this once, you might have forgotten. We essentially have to approve the farm firstly. So let's click approve. So I'm just going to click on that. Uh, Mr. MetaMask will open again saying, are you sure you want to approve? And going, yes, it's going to cost me a massive seven cents to confirm that I do want to approve this farm. So let's click on confirm. Again, this will chug on through, take a couple of seconds time. In a moment, here, this approve button will disappear. You can see the blockchain is approving this farm up here. Uh, this will disappear in a second, and it will allow me to stake. We'll see the plus and the minus symbol. There we go, and the zap as well. So now what, I'm gonna, what am I going to do? Let me ask you. I think you know, don't you? I'm now going to deposit what is currently in MetaMask, and then we'll see it populate here. And then I'll start to earn the new e-share. It's exciting, isn't it? I, I love this business, don't you? Oops, just accidentally clicked on something there. Let me go back to the farm. So here we are. Let me click on the plus symbol. And again, this dialogue window opens. We saw it a moment ago when we withdrew. So uh, it's, it's pulling in my data from MetaMask. It's saying I've got the 3.5. There it is. Let me click on max. Um, you obviously need to have a little bit of BNB, just a little bit of BNB in your MetaMask chain for the gas fees. Uh, let me click on confirm. Mr. MetaMask opens. Uh, the gas fees are a massive 19 cents. It's great doing it on the BNB chain compared to the Ethereum chain. I click confirm. It's going to chug on through again. There we go. We're now staking our 3.5 in the new farm. There we go. It's populated in here. Wonderful. I am now starting to automatically earn the new eShare. So that's all you have to do.